Hello there. It is 28th of June today, and so that makes it my birthday. Happy birthday to me. Although I kind of fear birthdays now at this stage, rather than look forward to them. If you know me very well, you'll know how old I am. If you don't know me very well, you don't need to know. So we won't go there. So anyway, happy birthday to me. I uh, woke up early this morning and I was out of bed by 6.30. Uh, luckily, with the current um, Premier League schedules in Britain, I can normally pick up a, re a game or at least um, a recording of a game that happened over the last couple of days <clears throat> at that time in the morning, which I did. So uh, I watched a, a good game of soccer and then, you know, an hour and a half later, so sometime after 7.30, I then realized that a number of things had to be done. So I had to, um, where are you? I had to make the bed, uh, open the curtains, uh, clean up the bathroom, go into the kitchen and do the washing up, clean the sinks up, make sure that the, uh, Fridge is, you know, kind of clean and presentable inside. Open the living room curtains. Make sure that, um, you know, there's no trash around. The cushions on the sofa are nice and fluffed up. And then proceed out into the yard to make sure that the yard is nicely hosed down. No dog shit anywhere. Yes, and get rid of all the detritus, the leaves and God knows what else that would have, would have blown off the plants during the night. You may be thinking that I'm a wonderful, clean man and completely and utterly 100% organized, but you would be wrong because today is a, a special day, well, almost a special day, a or once a week day and it is amazing with a lot of people that nothing manages to clean a house than the expected and imminent arrival of the cleaning lady because if she comes here and the place is a complete and utter shithole she is going to tell her friend Char who is Noy's friend who next time he talks to Noy on the phone is going to tell her that I'm living in squalor and can't be trusted and then all hell will break loose. So the cleaning lady doesn't actually need to clean anything. It's just the threat of her being here is enough. But really, I, d I don't actually clean anything. I'm very, very poor at cleaning things. I, I always have been. I'm not so bad at keeping things tidy, but I don't clean shit. And she's very, very good. She's here for two hours. And she even uh, got up on a set of stepladders and started cleaning the ceiling fan and lights today. So pretty good, I'd say. And it's not cheap by modern, sta by, uh, by modern standards probably cheap by your standards but that cost me 500 baht 300 baht is ten dollars so it cost me about 15 bucks uh, for two hours work that's not bad and the place is always you know nice and sanitary so that was how my birthday morning started off excuse me a minute I did have a plan today to go into Patong this afternoon and sit on the beach, buy a couple of cans of beer and reflect on it being my birthday. But it's been a horrible, miserable, rainy day. It's been raining, not heavily, but 
thunder's been rolling around and and um, it's been drizzling on and off all day so far. It still is out there now. But I had some shopping to do and I had an eye on cooking myself a decent steak tonight, which is very rare for me because A, I don't like to spend a lot of money on uh, steaks which are quite expensive over here and b i don't usually cook shit now unless it's gonna last me at least two meals maybe you know a lot of my a lot of my cooking i'm good to go i get about seven meals out of it you know i cooked big chicken and i will get three meals out of that the uh the other two meals were still in the freezer that's from last Sunday. So I had a, I had to go to two different shops to get all my stuff today, but that's all done now and it's two o'clock in the afternoon and that's it for me. I'm gonna sit down and uh, watch a bit of TV this afternoon and then I've got a you know a, a decent meal planned and you can catch up with me there. See you later. So let's talk about dinner, shall we? By the time I'd finished cooking it, this was about me. In fact, this was me pretty well during the cooking process. I won't say I cocked it up, but it wasn't one of my best efforts and not one to be terribly proud of. But something good came of it. I bought a steak at the supermarket, Central. I'd always considered them too expensive, but I got a really good Australian steak for something in the region of a little under $10. And that cooked really, really well, and it was an excellent steak. I pretty well ruined everything else, you know. My fried eggs broke, they were too dry, and they fell apart coming out of the pan. The whole thing just looked like a mess on the plate, but actually it tasted very, very nice. So I suppose something was saved from the experience. I've been waiting. I'm a Zia and I'm a bed builder and a sailor. Yes, you I'm are. I'm to rebuild and restore this 110 year old classic sailing yacht, Calio. So I've been following Leo's uh, website for couple of years now and I've been really looking forward to this particular episode so it's provident that it should come on my birthday and now I'm here and I can have my birthday dinner which I've probably ruined but um, I can watch Leo and we can see how he casts the floors wish me luck and um, yeah it was a good birthday, I think. <laughs>